Yep, let's just do all of this the same way. Go to the bathroom, take your tablets, fix your face. Um, okay, go get the key from Anders. He's in his room right now? Do I want the key from Anders first? Let's go get the key from Anders. <gasps> oh, he's not here. Well, shoot. Leave. Ooh, you know what? Knock for a second. He can't let me in. I want a sailor. No, do you like being a sailor? Do you enjoy it? Oh, I can't flirt with him at this hour? Hmm. Maybe I have to knock again. Alright. Nope. Darn it! <sighs> hmm. Ooh! No one's there. Oh, except you. I didn't get to ask him about the lady in his room because I still haven't tried. Malcolm's jacket is hung over the back of one of the chairs. Splenzy, I was hoping to catch you. Are you looking for your diamond? I found it on the deck. That's... I should go and look for the other one. Should be more careful. You said you found it. On the upper deck. That's very strange. I haven't been on deck at all. Thief? Better take twice as much care over those diamonds then. I'm happy you two are back together. Malcolm's jacket. Look in the pockets. A wallet, a cabin key, no incriminating notes. Take Malcolm's wallet, why? Mm, okay. 400 pounds? That's all our traveling money. Take Malcolm's key. But that's... I don't know why that would be. Send it to my cabin. Take a seat. Oh, I thought we'd play cards or something? Rather unusual to see you here, Miss Lindsay. Looking for your husband? Uh, he's missing, Mr. Carstairs. He didn't come back to the cabin last night. Goodness. Well, I last saw the old boy here yesterday evening. He lost a few hundred and said he was off to find you. I'll keep my eyes peeled. Not many places he could hide on a tug like this. Are you a single man? What? Me? Oh, yes, rather. Marriage seems awful risky to me. You are the cautious type. I like to know the odds. That's me. I'm an odds man. And you, ma'am? Fan of marriage, are you? It's a lot of work, honestly. There are certain rewards? I should hope so. Can't see what they are myself, though. What about you, Mrs. V? Do you work? I try not to. You don't recognize me? I don't. Should I? I used to act a little. In the West End. I gave it up when I was married. I tell you, I never would have known it. Why not? Well, now. You have such an honest face. <laughs> and actors, you know, they're terrible liars. Don't think actors can be good people? Can't trust an actor. I mean, how can you? They might be acting. Just then the door opens and you come in. For goodness sake, man, you're here? It's not even noon. Mr. Sav, good to see you as always. Pip, pip, please, Mr. Carstairs. It's 
subdar major. I'm constantly reminding you. I have a mind like a dried up honeycomb, so out it goes. What is a subdar major? I am. Good day to you, Mrs. Lindsay. He salutes. Stuck aboard this tug for a week. I don't believe we've had the pleasure. And you gave me your stuff last time. Veronica, I know who you are. You have me at a disadvantage. Hmm. Aw, oh, but perhaps that way you can learn me into overconfidence. Make conversation? Malcolm plays cards. Not very good at it. Must find him a new hobby. Bear that in mind. I want to play cards with you. I think maybe I've lost it. How long were you in the army? Still in the army. It's a life's work. Old soldiers only fade away, if you recall. Never knew what that meant. Things that happen to you change you. You can't change back. We're fashioned to last like swords. Are you allowed to gamble? Guru does not specify. <laughs> My view is a question of the stake. To sport and challenge and think, these are fine things. But to stake too much to chance is to turn aside from your duties. In the end, the gambler leaves empty-handed. So you play for fun. Strange idea, I know. Work for a living, play for its own sake. What do you think of my husband? Brutal honesty? Oh, of course, the brutalist. Yes, well, hard to say a good word about such a man. Really? What's in America for you? Did we ask him that last time? Oh, my old friend Pitts, we fought together 20 years ago. He's only got one eye. A cyclops? All the strength of one, too. If you need a car flipped over, Pitts is the man you call for. I'll remember that. I suppose it'll come in useful. It takes you across the ocean. Change of scenery. I think Malcolm's gone overboard. Can I... If I throw it... If I say it to his face... Are you quite serious? Deadly serious, I'm afraid. Let's just throw it out here, see what happens. Well then, action stations. I'll talk to the commander. We'll get everyone together, see if we can't fret out the truth. Oh no. Is this good or bad? This might be bad. Oh, I... I knew it! He's missing since last night. It's true, I think. He's not been slept in. It's because he's dead. Dead because of her. I saw him fall into the sea, so this is just gonna play out. Why didn't you tell anyone? I think this is gonna go the same way. It must have been Clarissa. Yes. I think Malcolm gave them to Clarissa. I was in my cabin. So I didn't even need to plan it in her room. Not theatrics. So it looks like this is gonna play out the same way even though I didn't plant the earring on her. This is a fix! Just in time for lunch! <laughs> what? 
Most curious affair indeed. So that's good for... There's an achievement for like wrapping things up in only a couple hours. Escape the nice commander on my arm. Full steam ahead. Oh, you still- you got life insurance. Cool. But we're still gonna get blackmailed. I'm really wondering if the blackmailer is Lady H. Or- or... Or it's the Major. Tidy hand mean calculated practice. Toodles. Who says toodles? Smooth operator, get off in five hours or less. Okay, yeah, so that's how you do it. You just go to, you get the major and have him call people. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Kill everyone. <laughs> Veronica, all of them are sinners. <laughs> uh. <clears throat> I want to play cards. I want to get back into the Major's room and read his book. I want to throw away all of Malcolm's things. Leaf. So Anders won't be there. No one's gonna be here. You might be here. I'll go see if I can knock on your door while you're here. Cause I'm curious. Knock on his door. Good day to you, Mrs. Valenzi. i stuck aboard this tug for a week. I don't believe I've had the pleasure. Tired, obviously, at your service. He clicks his heels together. Can I just go straight to him and say, hey, I need your help. My husband's missing. I haven't seen my husband's. I've lost a glass earring. Oh, she calls them glass. Oh no, but then I'm admitting that I lost it. I haven't seen my husband this morning. Have you seen him? No, I have not. I know your husband, of course. We can make conversation. Have you seen him? No. He says she knows him. Were you happy as a soldier? Happy? No. Can't really be happy when you're in the dirt fighting for your life, watching your friends get blown apart. Not happy. No. I saw the world. I lived. You survived. I traveled the world, saw the lights. You ever been to Egypt? I'd love to go. Malcolm despises foreigners. He can only face America because he thinks it's still a colony. Oh god. Your husband, I'm afraid to say, is an idiot. I'll leave you be. Very good, my dear. Interesting. Alright, leave. We need to go talk to... We need to go here. No, wait. I'm here already. Frick! I went to the wrong place. <laughs> I went to the wrong place. Here. I lost time. Carcer's door. Listen. No answer. Okay, now we will leave. Oh, is Lady H in? No, thank you. It's Veronica. Oh, quite well. You look awful. Do you? Do I? Simply dreadful. Too many late nights. He's gone missing. I haven't seen him since last night. Husbands are terribly unreliable. Where's the motor cars yet you still have to crank them? I'm not joking. 
now. Don't fret, my dear. I'm sure he's just been taking the air. Toodles. Shit, it's Lady H. She looks flustered. Very rude to loiter, you know. Going for a stroll up on deck. She is the blackmailer. See if I can ask him who's in his room, or do I need the sheep there? Do I need the major there for that? Look. Is there someone in your cabin? Me? Oh goodness, no. I'm a bachelor forevermore. You're lying. Me? No, well. No, indeed. Not jolly likely. Can't lie. More or less a medical condition. Would you show me your cabin? To prove it? <laughs> chap can't rightfully start taking another chap's wife into his cabin, can he? The major steps in the room, takes a seat at one of the tables. Why? She's a nose for information, that woman. She had a most interesting theory to share when I saw her just now. Theory. What kind of theory? She's quite certain, quite convinced the boat is sinking. I'll go find a life jacket. So I'm wondering if I ask him with the major present. Go to Malcolm's jacket. I'll have one of the stewards run it back to your cabin. Sure, thank you. Can I play cards with you, or do I have- can I only play it with car sayers? Game of cards? Play for real money. 20 pounds at the ante. Oh, I should have taken- I should have taken the money from his pocket. If I had the lemon to share, I would. Aww. Suppose your husband keeps all of himself to himself. I, uh... Bet a diamond earring. No! So that's what the money is. Alright, stand. You could take the money from the jacket. Or the money from... Alright, let's go back to our cabin then. I'm still gonna need the key. Malcolm's jacket. Jacket pockets. Take the wallet. Now you could plant the key somewhere too, I think. Probably be good. I don't think we need the key. Oh, I can't! Wait, how can I... How can I toss all of his possessions into the ocean? Desk. No. Porthole. Toss something overboard. Throw Malcolm's clothes overboard. Oh! I would need to throw his wallet overboard too. <laughs> mm. Okay, well maybe maybe I'd take the key out. Alright. Let me head back and play cards one more time, maybe? Or... Clarissa's room? There's so much I want to do. Like, I don't have a plan right now. I just want... I'm trying to get all the information I can. Alright. I would need to go into her room. I want to go into his room to look through his book. Let's play a game of cards, though. We got the wallet. Let's go play a game of cards. I'm, I'm not strategizing how to get away with stuff right now, such as, um... Smoking rooms are all the same. My husband liked to play. Did he? I did not know that. I mean, you, you played here last night. Surely you've played with him. I have. Which... But it isn't that which I don't know. Where is your husband? I don't know. 
He's missing. Missing. Since last night. You haven't seen him? No, I haven't. I thought Carcers would be in here, but where the heck is he? Lady H seems to think the ship is sinking. Oh, let's see if we can go talk to her. She looks alone. We haven't talked to her since getting that information. May I join you? Oh, of course, dear. A drink? At lunchtime. What? It isn't breakfast? You know how I like them. Yes, ma'am. As dirty as it comes, please. Yes, ma'am. Dirty? Oh, filthy. They mix it with brine straight from the sea. <laughs> Ew. Did you just wink at him? Palm a sleeping pill. Yes, please. What are you... I do want to know what she thinks of car stairs, but... And I, I want all of these options? Under the table, get a tablet out and hold it ready in my palm. Slip the tablet into her drink. Can't alter her drink when she's looking right at me. Have you made this crossing before? Can I try it? Stir it over here, please. She's turned away, waving her handkerchief for attention. Ah, frick! Slip the tablet into her glass. It sinks to the bottom, undissolved like an old olive. Are you married? No, not anymore. I rather liked it when I was. She sniffs and looks away. Give the lady's drink a stir? Swap drinks. I don't want to swap drinks. Lean over there isn't time. Tablet doesn't dissolve. Lady H treats me to a winning smile. Must have been stunning in your youth. What a mean spirited thing to say. It was rather a looker. Must have had men lining up. Oh yes, the old dance card was always full. One day poof, none of that seems to matter. You pick one, whichever one doesn't matter. You settle down. Ten years later, you come to your senses and it's too late to do a damn thing about it. She raises a hanky to her eye and dabs. Swap drinks. Lady H turns her attention to me. You have any children? You know, my dear, I never did. I meant to, but somehow the moment never arose, and then, of course, it was too late. Lady H smiles thinly and digs through her bag. But you'd have liked children. Well, I don't know, really. I like the idea of children. The real thing is a bit messy, isn't it? Half of them die when they're small. The other half belittle you till you die. <laughs> Puts her handkerchief away and smiles thinly at me. Will you stay in America? This time I think maybe I will. England has too many memories in it now and honestly quite too many diseases. Raises a hanky to one eye and dabs. What do you make of Carstairs? I thought if I swapped the drinks I could like stir it, but... It's a dark horse, that one. You mark my words. I heard someone moving around his cabin. Really? I knew it. The man has a secret. Whoever it is, they turn up at his cabin door quite late and they use a signal. They knock nine times. Three groups of three, always the same. Intriguing. Yes, well, I've not managed to find out anything really juicy, and we're almost ashore. What a waste. Turns back and smiles. Yeah, I'm. I'm I want to ask you about the ship sinking, but cheers. <laughs> Ugh. I'd rather think this must be yours, dear. Swaps the drinks back around. Major says the boat is sinking? What? Oh yes, I was quite worried about that. You're not anymore? Well, it doesn't seem to be getting any lower. I'm no sailor, must have made a mistake. 
I was up all night, worrying all the same. What happened? I was on deck last night, and I heard something. A splash! Something fell off the boat. What sort of thing? I don't know. I'm not a mechanic. Whatever it was, it was big. I heard the splash when it fell. Then Commander Anders up on the bridge. He jumped out onto the ladder and stopped there frozen, watching whatever it was drifting away. I saw his binoculars flashing in the dark. You've not found your man, I suppose. I think he's avoiding me. Yes, well, it doesn't look good. Sip my drink. <laughs> uh... Hmm. You said England was full of memories. See if I can get her to cheers again. Unhappy ones and happy ones. Memories... All memories make you sad, don't they? Sniffs and looks away. Sip my drink. <laughs> finish and go. Nice talking to you. Do make sure you enjoy your life. Don't waste it, alright? Thank you? So I don't think she drank the thing. I don't know if it matters. Okay. Well, frick, we don't have a lot of time, so let's go, uh... Let's go knock on the door. <laughs> Then we'll worry about getting away with murder, okay? Try Malcolm's key. Let's knock. Bolt drawn back inside. Shove the door open. There's a thud as someone falls backward across the cabin floor. It's a woman my age with a mousy brown plate. She's holding a cricket bat. She seems to think it's a club. Ah! Verswind! Gishwig! Um. I don't know that she speaks. Who are you? Gijitzvit? Gijit? Carceres is your friend? Bit? Don't speak German. Oh shit, I should have left! Should have left. Should have held up my hands. Something, anything. <laughs> I should have done something, anything. Ow. There you are. You had a stroke of bad luck. You were walking along one of the quarters and cracked your noggin on a bulkhead. That's not what happened. Must be. Lady Armstrong found you passed out in the corridor. And you're seeing it, and I carried you back here between us. I'm afraid there's a more serious matter to consider. Ah, uh, Clarissa convinced them all you pushed. You didn't stick up for me? At the risk of my commission? No. Getting you off this boat, the police have doctors. They'll look at you. Oh. Ah. Uh. <laughs> Yes, yes. I have a concussion. <laughs> oh, bollocks.